This video is sponsored by PUBG Sumo. PUBG Sumo is a web tool which tells you exactly when you need to move from the circle, allowing you to maximize looting time. It has many helpful features such as suggested vehicle spawns, best loot areas, tactical positions on the map and much more. Plus, you can use it with your whole squad too. Go check the link in the description for more info. Welcome guys! It's time to open up Pandora's box of PUBG. Sounds. The topic of sound in PUBG is wildly discussed and the general tone in the PUBG community is not very positive regards to sounds. But don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this. And today's sound topic will be how you can effectively judge the distance of your shooter by simply listening to the sound of the gunshot. Expect to see the following. Sound level test at various distances of the common assault rifles and the different phases of sound that the gunshots go through when increasing distances. A lot of people have helped me in recording the clips and all their names can be found in the description below. Ok, kicking this test off, I wanted to know how the different assault rifles sounded at ranges up to 500 meters with increments of 100 meters and we will learn how loud the different assault rifles are at different ranges. I will show this to you by illustrating the max amplitude on a graph. And we will also learn how the sound changes at different ranges. A few interesting things came from this test. The AKM is nearly twice as loud as other assault rifles but only at the 100 meter test and after that it normalizes to the level of the others. The scar -L is by far the quietest assault rifle and therefore there can be an interesting tactical advantage to using it as you will be more difficult to hear. But this test also gave me hint of something super interesting. There was a big difference in the actual sound and not just the sound levels between the 100, 200 and 300 meter tests. And after that the sound is just the same, but keeps getting lower and lower. Does this mean that we can actually map and predict what happens to the sound? And does the sounds change in the same way or differently? What I discovered made me jump in my seat of excitement, because the sounds behave completely predictable depending on how far away you are and they even do that in the same way for assault rifles and sniper rifles. Between 0 to 50 meters, the sound of the weapon is like if you were firing the weapon yourself. Between 50 and 100 meters, the sound transitions into a phase with high treble. Between 100 to 150 meters, that's the treble phase. The sound is now very different, with very low bass in it. Between 150 and 200 meters, the sound transitions into a bass phase. And from 200 meters and onwards, we have the bass phase and the only thing that happens here is that the sound gets lower and lower until you finally can't hear it anymore. And we will obviously need a few examples of this. Check this out.
by learning these phases we can actually judge the average distance of our shooter pretty well, which is super cool. Unfortunately these phases do not seem to work on pistols, shotguns or submachine guns. But from the test I conducted this pattern applied to assault rifles and sniper rifles. So what did we learn from this? Well we learned that the scar -L is the quietest assault rifles of them all, making it the least detectable of them all. The gunshot sounds change in a predictable way depending on how far away you are. And by learning the different phases of the sounds, you can effectively judge the approximate distance to your shooter. And that's all I had for you guys in this video. I'm not done testing sounds, so if you want to know more about the topic or just support the work I do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.